What's up, y'all? It's Mommy Wata. I'm back. Thank you so much for your support of Mommy Wata Tarot. Please continue to like the content on this platform. It lets me know if what I'm putting out works for you, for the collective. Collective, excuse me, for my viewers. Please make sure you are subscribed to this platform and tap that bell notification button so you will be alerted whenever I post. Let's talk about this next download. Somebody is very old. You're ancient. Your spirit is ancient. You attended the mystery schools, the Egyptian mystery schools. You've been reincarnated many times over. And this is why, even though you seem very humble, very meek, very almost smooth footish to the average eye, that's the way that the Most High God, the universe, wants it to be because you're very old, you're very ancient, you're like a relic, and you have a lot of knowledge locked away within you that I feel is going to be slowly revealed to the world in this season, in this lifetime. You've been preparing for many lifetimes to achieve some sort of goal for the Holy Spirit, for the Most High God. You're, you're ancient, okay? Um, whoever I'm talking to, you have had visions of you being around during biblical times. Like you might've been in the crowd when you know, a certain person spoke. That's what I was getting from you, okay? But you most definitely have been to some of the same institutions as that person as well, even though you are a feminine. You may not have been a feminine in that lifetime, but you are a feminine now. Okay, so what else, Holy Spirit? That's a lot. That's deep. This ain't for everybody, but that's what's going on here. What else, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you that you'd like for us to know from you through me at this time surrounding this energy, this download, Holy Spirit. What else do we need to know about this divine feminine energy? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What else do we need to know here? Why is this coming out now? What is the message, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. You give Isis and Osiris energy. Okay? Sacrifice. You have been sacrificed in previous lifetimes because of your esoteric knowledge and wisdom because of these secrets that I'm picking up that you have that are locked away within you that are going to be released in this lifetime you have had to go through many reincarnations whoever I'm picking up on now in order to get to this point you've been sacrificed a number of times you may like to read scripture. You may need to start reading scripture more. And I feel like if you read, read some scripture, read more scripture, you will start recalling things because you were around during those times. I'm telling you now. And the reason why I know I ain't tripping because somebody else didn't already came to this conclusion about you. That's what I'm getting. Clarify Holy Spirit. Somebody already knows this about you. This has already been discovered about you. Look, freedom. And it was in reverse. But I'm telling you that you are being hidden in plain sight. You are being hidden in plain sight. And people... Do not realize who they be talking to, who they be interacting with. But somebody has discovered who you are. I think they want that to stay hidden as well. They want this restriction 
to continue because I feel like you're getting some sort of recognition for your spiritual abilities, what you've shown the world thus far, and this is how they discovered you. But they've realized that additional aspect about who you are, the same thing that I'm picking up on. Hidden in plain sight. You Look, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you are something that we don't see. Something that is hard to even believe exists because who's ever seen a unicorn in the flesh? But that's who you are. You know, you. I'm not saying that you're homeless or anything like that, but you could be that person who people see in the store who seems clean enough, who seems like, you know, they keep themselves up, but they ain't the best. They may look a little bummy, but your energy speaks volumes. Your energy is very rich. Your energy is very affluent. People still want to interact with you, even though you may look like you ain't got your shit all the way together in life. Okay, it's something like that, but that's a mask. That That's something that the universe is, is allowing you to reside in, this energy where you, you're a minimalist. You really don't care about appearances like that, whoever I'm talking to, but you're a very beautiful energy, very attractive energy. What else, Holy Spirit, baby? I'm getting a lot off of you. At peace, child. I'm telling you, you at peace, you... You ain't bothered by nobody and you ain't bothering nobody. But you do have spiritual gifts and abilities that are being celebrated. And someone has discovered that you are very ancient, very knowledgeable, that you are some sort of reincarnate. You may see a lot of angel numbers and synchronicities that help confirm things for you, confirm memories that you have about your past lives. Whoever I'm talking to, time will always tell. You know this about yourself. You've had this epiphany, this realization about yourself that maybe you are older than a few hundred years. You might be a few thousand years old, okay? That others don't compare to you. You ain't got to have all of those bells and whistles, those aesthetics that we as a society prove someone's anointing or ability to be abundant and prosperous. You don't need those bells and whistles for people to know that you are, in fact, very special. Very. Very. At peace, for real. <laughs> like, I'm really picking it up. You may have some sort of. Ethiopian lineage, okay, just for the sign that just came on, but they have some, it, they, when I say they, they is a few people, this is a group of some kind that has determined exactly what I'm saying about you, they know this to be true, they know who you are, they know, they may not have full insight into what you're supposed to do in this life, but this is the lifetime where you're supposed to shine, you have attempted to shine. You have given and presented that fire to society in other lifetimes. And I feel you were crucified for it. You were sacrificed for it. Look, anyone with anything negative to say for no given reason got issues. Okay? This is what they used to say about you because of how you would highlight things that were not right things that were not in alignment based off of your spiritual beliefs and what you had been taught 
in the places that you have been, in the institutions that you were reared at. I'm telling you, you are like a nomadic type of energy. You are probably somebody right now who, you know, moves around pretty frequently. You don't stick and stay in the same place for too long, but that's part of your spirit. That's part of your past life energy. You ain't going to be caught in the same place for too long. Okay, whoever I'm picking up on. And people used to crucify you for that. So maybe you were crucified. Shit. I mean, that was a form of, you know, impalement. Impalement, impalement, however you want to say it. That was a form of prosecution. But this lifetime... It's something like you will have a defense. You will be able to look, judge. You will be able to say what you need to say, what you are being divinely guided to say about injustice. And you will be protected. Your right to be able to express yourself is going to be protected. And it's being protected by you making, it's like you making a little bit of noise and it don't seem like you have that much reach, I'm hearing, but the people are, who are hearing the noise that you make is what's making the difference, okay? Judge is on the bottom. You've been you've been placed in some sort of position where you can say what you want to say, okay? And you know we gonna take her word for it this time around. I'm telling you, you old. It might be a few of y'all. That's that's old, honey. Your spirit is real old. Dinner and drinks. Y'all might need to link up. These people that know who you are, they want to link up with you. They want to meet with you. They want to talk to you and understand you more. But you may be in the middle age of your life, the second cycle of your life. We have three stages of our life. You're in like the middle stage of your life. You may feel like you at the in. Like you may feel older than you are or look, but that's this energy that you possess. Happiness ahead and hit the table. Your, li your past lifetimes of sacrifice has made you tired, but this lifetime, I feel like you're going to be able to rest. Maybe early on in life, Things were hard for you, but it was because you had to evolve into this unicorn energy. You had to get back to who you are. And I feel like this is going to be the final cycle. Okay, like Tina Marie say on that song, she don't want to come back no more. Thank God, thank God that she ain't going to have to come back no more. Because she, she did it right that final time. Enough is enough. So this is the this is the final hour, so to speak, in this reincarnation thing that you've been going through because you finally got to a place where you're going to be able to be celebrated for what you say, family. People are going to embrace you when you were possibly rejected by many you definitely reject were ultimately put sat down okay however that happened when in whatever lifetime you've always been somebody who came back every lifetime you know talking about what's right and what's wrong and you were judged for that but that was always a priority for you that's a priority for you now, whoever I'm picking up on. You've gotten to a point in your life where you are in a position to counsel, to advise, to say your, your piece. Okay? We have this energy, vampire energy, 
energy vampire energy because let me tell you you had people who were put in your path to put you where you would be sacrificed okay you had judas energies but that was their purpose and you understood okay just like they understood that Judas was going to be guided to do what he did. He served a purpose. He, him doing what he did is why Jesus ended up having to deal with what he had to deal with. But he already knew that was going to happen type shit. Okay. You already know the purpose of certain people in your life. And why they did you the way they did. Why they were the energy vampires that they were. But you learned the lesson that you need to learn from these people before they could put you in a position to fully sacrifice you. In the past, you didn't realize what you need to realize about people around you before it was too late. In this lifetime, you check their ass at the door. And they were denied entry if they came up guilty. Okay? So that's what's happening this time, which has allowed you to keep moving forward and be able to give this wisdom, guidance, and tutelage that has been divinely put within you by the Holy Spirit. Okay? And... A lifetime, multiple lifetimes of study, of guidance, of being taught by people who are very knowledgeable, well-versed, scribes, priests, monks, You've been taught by some folks now over these lifetimes. And, you know, people think that you are not in alignment. Some people feel like you are broken. Some people feel like you can't tell nobody nothing because look at, at your life. You ain't got your shit together. You don't have the things that I have that society says signifies you having your shit together. Okay, so maybe you don't have a house. Maybe you don't have a car. Maybe you live paycheck to paycheck. Maybe you got a lot of debt. But like I said, that's a attempt to keep you shielded from bullshit until you were ready to be placed out in front of everyone until you were ready to be able to say what it is that you need to say without being persecuted like that shit they talking about how you look and how you may not have much or whatever this is that i'm getting from people because people been judging you because some folks feel like you shouldn't be able to tell nobody nothing because of those same aesthetic things that I just mentioned. But they have no idea who they listening to. They have no idea how wise and knowledgeable you are. Like, it's amazing what I'm picking up off of you. You are far from broken. Far from broken. Innocent, child. I'm trying to tell you. Innocent. Innocent of this belief that you are not in alignment and that you don't know. That you haven't seen. You've got ancient wisdom within you. And you've been sharing some of that with the world. 
Because I'm telling you, it's a it's a group of people who want to consider you as family. They know how special you are. They want to protect you. They don't want everybody to know what's all within you. Because it will be the Truman Show if, look, crazy out here. But crazy was in reverse. And I'm taking it in reverse because, like I said, we done seen enough movies where the zombies don't fuck with them people who is homeless and on the side of the um, street. The zombies don't fuck with them people who might seem like they ill or they, they might be got some sort of debilitation. The old poor man like on World War Z. One thing that Brad Pitt noticed, he had a flashback when they was in in that other country, I ain't finna say the name, but they went down too because they was doing all that singing and shit and it made the zombies come up the wall and over the wall now. But one thing he remembered, I don't know what the hell, you didn't experience some things in, some, in your lifetimes, but let me say this. One thing he remembered was how all those zombies, zombies was going right by that old man who was walking straight down the road. He was old. He was a little crippled. He was walking with a limp, but he was still, he was still there. Okay. So that's sometimes a shield, a mask to keep that bullshit off of you. That was the whole point of what they realized about a vaccine. They needed a vaccine to make it look like they was broken, that they might've been crazy that they may have had some sort of problems so that the zombies wouldn't fuck with them. That's the type of energy that's on you, I'm telling you, until you were ready to be out in the spotlight because all eyes finna be on you in a minute. It's something that you're going to say that people gonna be like, how the fuck? I'm telling you, you done been all around now and then had all kind of knowledge and wisdom and tutelage provided to you. But it's something you about to say that's going to make people really like sit up and pay attention. We have retreat. And you may want to back up out of the spotlight because of the attention that you're about to get. But it's going to be proof that there is ancient wisdom within you that you know some things that you didn't see some things that other people ain't seen. And the universe is saying it's time to embrace the attention, the spotlight. Don't feel like you're going to be sacrificed like you were in past lifetimes because of what you know and what you say because your spiritual team is with you. That's not going to happen this time. I ain't going to say that people ain't going to try to come for you and attempt to make you weary. But this is divinely orchestrated and you do have hidden helpers who already have been made aware of how special you are and or light worker star C. Hello, Holy Spirit. I see you now. Because you he are Holy Spirit already out here. Right after wisdom, goddess, and tutelage now. I'm telling you now. They, they know who you are. It's somebody in particular. He loves you. He loves your light, your energy. Your divine connection. He knows that you do have some sort of African. I'm picking up on West African. I'm picking up on East African and North African lineage. Whoever I'm talking to. You and you from one of them countries that was right up there. Damn, I ain't going to say too much of my business. Because somebody, I ain't, I ain't finna say that. I'm gonna keep my business to myself. <laughs> okay, but 
you from one of them countries right there on the cru on the on the line of Jordan, okay? And like Turk Turk not I ain't gonna say Turkey. I'm gonna say Jordan energy Iranish all up through there. You in one of those African countries right before you get in that area. Okay, that's where you from. That's where you originate from, whoever I'm talking to. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Anything else? This man love you, though. He is a facilitator. Uh, he has a prominent position in this family, this group, who's aware of you. Look what came out. Ooh, confirmation. If only you can see the heart you need is in me. He, is, he wants to have dinner and drinks with you. He wants to let you know how special you are, how he can see that you are this unicorn light worker star seed energy that's ancient. You are an ancient relic. And look, I'm telling you, they don't want everybody to know. They don't want, they, they know that you are eventually going to be catapulted in the spotlight more than you are just because as long as you keep talking, you're going to eventually say something that everybody going to be like, what, what? Come again, say, what did she say? How she know that? You're going to like almost go viral or something like that. But this other part of you, this ancient esoteric, with wisdom part of you he don't want everybody to know that he wants to protect your identity as much as possible because you are an earth angel i'm telling you now whoever i'm picking up on baby you ain't no hundreds of years old you thousands of years old you may like to read a lot but this is part of that tutelage that learning journey that you were on many, 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 many moons ago. Okay. Spiritual bullying and or spiritual manipulation. Your spirituality is organic. People been already trying you. I'm telling you, I'm sure it's people who done picked up something similar to what this masculine energy and his his crew has picked up and they want to suppress that but because they know honey they know who you are it, look if it's people who know who you are and they want to help you it's also people who know who you are that want to hinder you okay that have even already abused their power because it ain't fucking work. It ain't fucking work. There are people who have already tried to abuse their power to stop you from saying the things that you said, but it ain't work. Because like I said, you're not going to be sacrificed in this lifetime. Unbowed unbent and unbroken child and fell in my lap because they didn't try it and you are aware i'm hearing that they didn't try it but you ain't aware that they tried it because they know how ancient you are okay and you better know people jealous of that anything else final card holy spirit final card but like i said you ain't going to be sacrificed this lifetime, okay? It look like the people coming for you may be sacrificed this lifetime. So, you know, people just need to be mindful because voodoo is in reverse, child. That means the spiritual bullying and or spiritual manipulation ain't working, okay? Among other things, these people have tried to do. So... If you are relating to what I just said, then you know the Most High is so good. Never forget how far you've come because you done came a long way. Eons, honey. 
whoever I'm talking to. And it's time for you to shine. I'm telling you, this is the this is the lifetime where you're going to start it and you're going to finish it. Ain't going to be no interruptions or no sacrifice. Okay? But if it doesn't apply, y'all, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest. And I'll be back soon with another one. Peace.